welcome guys to code with yusuf channel uh, in this video we will talk about the library management system the er diagram or entity relationship diagram for library management system so the library management system uh, here we will manage everything through uh, a website or mis guys so the requirements may be different maybe your requirement and the requirement i have gathered will be different so the diagram i'm making for making for you guys so that will be a general diagram for library management system so yeah, then you can add um, some features depend on your own requirements so before guys starting please subscribe our youtube channel for more final projects uh er diagram in final projects and other computer science and coding related videos so let's start guys library management system guy uh, er diagram so first of all we will come to the uh, student uh, entity with us guys okay first of all i will die the student entity for you guys here because the student has main factor and main uh, role in library management system so it is entity of student with us guys so i will add the attribute of student just i have written already to not waste the time i will just copy the attributes and add here okay guys i will just take it and i will do it yes guys oh, sorry yeah guys these are the attributes of student student id it is a primary key with us F father name last name uh, first name sorry first name last name and gender age contact address student email and student password and also now the student has the relationship with book now we will draw the entity of book guys yeah come here just make it a little bit longer and wider a little bit and also take it like this and copy the uh, attributes of book guys yeah guys these are the uh, table or entity of a uh, book which has book id i will change this name to book uh, book id book title book name publisher author book uh, number and public publishing date which has when it has published guys so now the relationship between student and book is money to money because one student can borrow more than one books and a book may be borrowed by more than one student guys so it is a money to money relationship so um between them we should have an associative entity uh, which is borrowing and but it has its own date when it has borrowed and when it has returned so now we will draw the third entity the associative entity for both of them because it has money to money relationship so for money to money relationship we should draw an another a third entity guys so let's draw that guys yeah guys okay i will just make it a little bit smaller yes guys It is borrowing with us, guys. Borrowing with us, guys. Okay, now what should I do? Just copy the attribute of this table. Control C, Control 
I will just make it to put it to white and color and paste in here. Okay, guys, the borrowing table with us has the following attributes. borrowing id book id student id and did borrowed date returned so these are the attributes of borrowing entity with us associative entity with us guys and now we should draw the relationship student and uh, we can say borrowing and also we can draw guys come here and just try it we have draw the relationship between them guys so now guys we should come to the transaction how many transaction a student has done we will draw an entity for transaction guys come here just for the transaction transaction table and just I will what I should do I will copy <coughs> the attribute of transaction yeah guys just to make it Okay, guys. it is the transaction table which the student has a relationship with transaction how many transaction has done by a student and the attributes are like transition ID transition name borrowing ID and student ID and transition date when it has done so here is the relationship one to money because a student may done more than one transaction guys just draw relationship <coughs> so now guys we have uh, another entity by the name of a report whenever we would like to generate a report so we will draw the entity of report guys just come here report and also let me just copy the attributes of report Yeah, these are the attributes of report report ID transaction ID transaction all transaction and borrowing ID how many has borrowed and report date in the, the report has generated okay report date so now we, I will draw just the relationship between them so just come guys and generate his yes guys okay guys now come and draw a relationship between borrowing and report okay it has done guys so now after report guys we will come to the entity of uh, status guys Yeah, the book status. Okay, guys. Book status. Okay, guys. Now come to the attribute of book status. And just write, guys, here. State 
ID and state name guys also it has the relationship with book guys just draw it Yes, guys, also uh, it has relationship from other side. One too many. Okay, guys, one too many and one too many because a status per money book, a book status. Uh, and also, we have the ER diagram entity for uh, library. Yeah, just guy adds the attribute of library ID, name, password, and whatever that is to manage these all things. So it was a general AR diagram, guys, for library management system. So if you have liked the video, please comment down. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and comment down if you have any question, guys. So thanks for watching, guys.